What is up everybody? Today I have a ton of technology in front of me. Companies send me and ask me if they can send me things all the time. These are a lot of those products and I want to do one video that just shows you guys the cool tech that I've gotten August 2019. Okay, so just starting off randomly here. Here is something, I already have it opened, but this is from Nomoto. We get you, we got you. Recyclable box, so I'm feeling that. But what this is, is it's a very interesting product and they, they asked me if they could send it out. They've actually sent me out two, so I'm gonna think of a way to just give one of these away either on Twitter or Instagram, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so one side, it's double-sided. One side is a mouse pad with a wireless charging pad. So what you can do is just have this on your desk, have a micro USB cable running to it, and then throw your iPhone or whatever wireless device you have on here. The other side is what's really cool. This is like a tablet. So what you have is this little tiny stylus that sticks in the bottom here, and then you can just write, you know, doodle little notes on here. This little button up top here completely erases it. It's a very unique product. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool when they, when they uh, emailed me about it. So like I said, they sent out two, so I'll figure out a way to get one of these out uh, via Twitter or Instagram to one of the followers and I don't know it works really well I think it's really cool I've actually used the little doodle part a few times uh, with work I'm always taking phone calls and I could quickly jot something down if you guys are interested in it make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will have one of those to give away this one's different this is something I've never seen before uh, not like I've seen the first product before either but this is a laptop stand but it's a adhesive foldable so it adjusts with two angles holds up to 18 pounds fits laptops from 11.6 to 15.6 and attaches and removes with ease three ways to use it you could not use it at all so your laptop will still be flush onto the ground you can raise it up for 15 degree angle which is about two inches off the ground or off your desk or whatever and then you can do 25 degrees which is about three inches off the ground and this is from Moff. so i got my macbook pro here we're gonna lay it down just like the instructions say stick to the back of the notebook notebook near the hinge is there like a little sticky thing yes okay and it goes this way so we're gonna go back towards the hinge Make sure this thing's square because that would drive me bonkers. So this is it right here. I mean, this is your whole, it's the whole kit and caboodle right there. It's like origami. Oh, okay. So here we go. So we got, oh, wow. It stays in place very well. Ah, uh, okay. So there's one adjustment. There is the second. So, I mean, yeah, if you have an external display, uh, maybe you're using a keyboard. This is going to keep this up and off the ground. It's also going to do a little bit better with airflow, where the MacBook Pro is pulling air from the bottom. So you're going to get a little better, better airflow. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you don't even know if you don't want to use it. It's there, but oof. yeah, this, I don't know. This, if you're not using it, you have some rocking. Uh, you can see that there. So my hands are gonna be on the palm rest and I'm typing. You're sort of shaking all over the place. So maybe a smaller, maybe a 13 inch model, this would be better or, better, or the MacBook Air or something like that. But uh, if you're using this all the time, like without, like out, out, out on the go, I don't know if this would be for me. I mean, it doesn't stick up very high, but it's just, it sits up higher than the rubber bumps on the bottom. If it was as thin as the little rubber bumps, then you wouldn't have this issue, but it's just a bit thicker. So I don't know, maybe that would work for you. I don't think it would work for me. They're using it on the MacBook Air in this picture. So maybe with the MacBook Air, it's a little bit wider. So maybe that would be better or the 13 inch MacBook Pro, but for the 15 inch, I don't think it would be a go for me. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. So here we have a couple products 
from, well, it just says Earfun, myearfun.com. They reached out to me and they have a this Bluetooth speaker as well as, I get a lot of emails for Bluetooth speakers and wireless headphones. But because AirPods don't fit my ears properly, I'm always looking for something that will work really well that I can use at the gym or anything. So let's talk about the earbuds first. They're truly wireless connection, superior sound, wireless charge, up to six hours of playback and 30 hours with the battery case, IPX7 waterproof. You have voice assistant on there, ergonomic fit. You get in the box, you get, of course, the case, the two headphones, a USB type C charging, which is a big plus. Everything should be USB type C. We've talked about this before. Uh, and then the charging case, I think I said, and then three different ear tip. Case is plastic. Uh, it's very plastic -y. There's that. I like that the left side is on the left side. I'll tell you that much. Ergonomically, they fit really well in my ears. And I can already hear that it's like cutting off the sound from everything else. They have push button controls, like little detent controls. Get my phone out. Let's get these connected and see what they sound like. Does this look that bad? Okay. <laughs> okay, now I've had these for a couple of weeks. These are legit. I I'm, I'm dumbfounded actually. I didn't expect these to be that good. Um, like I said, the case is plastic E and I was a little nervous that the quality was gonna be bad. The quality is good. Uh, I had it almost on full blast. Bass is hitting. I'm listening to Homicide, Logic and Eminem and it was hitting. Pairing was really easy. It paired with one side, but both were working. And you know, anybody that's used truly wireless earbuds in the past, a lot of them connect with one and then connect to the other. And there's a lot of connection issues there. So over time, we'll have to see how that, that works out. And I'll, I'll update people on all this stuff on my Instagram and Twitter. So make sure you guys are following me there. But I'm, now I'm super excited to try out the, uh, the U-Boom Earfun speaker because these headphones were legit these earbuds are legit wow okay i'm i'm nice work nice work earfun so let's try the speaker 360 degree sound speaker phone obviously bluetooth you have an indoor outdoor sound mode up to 16 hours of playback also ipx7 waterproof usb type c again come on now these that's yeah they got it together here all right let's see Bass is not super pronounced. Hold on, let me get the let me get something I can play a little bit longer. So it's got this outdoor indoor. Let's wait for the music to start. Yeah, the outdoor the outdoor way sounds the outdoor mode sounds a little bit fuller, like maybe it's blasting a little bit more, but it sounds really good. Bass is not super pronounced but overall really good. I like it's got this little uh, little thing you could add like a carabiner to and actually have it hanging from your, from your bag or something. On the back you have the USB type C charging port as well as an auxiliary port. So if you don't, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe you're bringing your turntable out and you wanna play records at a picnic, you can plug that in. Yeah, this is good. The bottom's got a rubber base to it, so it's not gonna slide around. Feels like it's really well built. It's solid, it's got a little heft to it, so it's not gonna be bouncing around. Feels like you could throw it in a bag and not have to worry about it sort of falling apart on you. Top's got a, like a uh, rubberized cover to it, feels good. Yeah, this is legit. All right, ear fun. I, I see you out there, I'm, I'm impressed, especially with your truly wireless earbuds. I mean, honestly, I didn't expect much and those blew me away. So that's your fun. Again, links will be down in the description below. So let's hop over to this. BenQ reached out and they have a very, I, I looked at, I did an Instagram and IGTV uh, video 
for something similar to this. It was like a light that went on top of a monitor. This is sort of the same thing, but this I believe is more, this is geared more towards uh, a laptop. So we'll take a look at it on the laptop. Comes in a nice case that I don't know if I would ever use again, but it reminds me of like a microphone case or something. So what do we have here? USB, uh, USB A. I was hoping USB type C so I can just plug it right into the MacBook. Then you have on the front, let me make sure, because I believe this is sort of the same settings that we had before, but you have a light sensor off to the left. So it'll, you know, ambient light. You have a brightness and color temperature buttons over uh, that flank the center. And then you have a button where you can change it from brightness is on the left and temperature is on the right. So that's how you double use those buttons. You have an auto dimming button over here where you can just press it and it'll automatically dim. And then you have a power button. All these are capacitive, so that's nice. But let's put this on my MacBook Pro and we're gonna need a dongle, which, which I always have one at the ready because that MacBook Life. This one has got a little gripper, a little pincher on there. So we're gonna pinch it right to the front of my MacBook Pro, 15 inch. So you'll see how this looks. Obviously it'd be a lot cleaner if this was USB type C, but you can already see it's on. You have temperature, so we can make it cooler or we can make it colder. So I like, that's actually it's really nice, really responsive. Brightness, you can go bright, you could go not so bright. Okay, so you don't have to tap, you can just hold and it's gonna change. You have auto brightness over here. So when it, obviously you can see it fluctuates to let you know that it's turning that on and or off. Power button over here, power on, power off. Like I said, I like this, this is nice if you're working in a darker area or something like that, or maybe you don't have proper lighting in your office. This is really nice. It's really well built. Very bright LEDs. Look at this. Don't be surprised you see this in the back of a video. So anyways, yeah, I mean, not much to it. It's it's a light for your laptop. Big shout out to BenQ for sending this out. I'll leave a link for it down below. If this is something you've been looking for, here it is for you. So let's talk about this one. I'm not gonna open this one because my friends over at Abode, uh, I've done a video for them before as well. This was a video that I did Gosh, I want to say a couple years ago, but they had a security system that once you install it, you can monitor it through your phone. But if you're actually going away, you could say, you could call and say, hey, I'd like monitoring turned on where they actually physically monitor it. So if there's any issues, they'll call the police, they'll get fire department, they'll get people out to your home. So if you're out of town, you can call them and say, hey, I'm going to be gone for three days. I'd like to get service monitoring my house for three days and only pay for that amount of time, which is an amazing, amazing feature. People that don't know, we're in the midst of moving again. We just moved into this house like a couple months ago, crazy things happened and we're moving out of state. So I'm saving this for when we get to our new, new house. But to give you a little bit, just some bullet points, automation logic, uh, the Abode Q is compatible out of the box with hundreds of Z-Wave and Zigbee and other popular brands like Nest, Echo Bee, Lifex, Philips Hughes, allowing users a wide range of choice of options. It's expandable. You can get different cameras, different sensors, all kinds of stuff. This one has a built-in 1080p streaming camera, which is awesome. Professional grade security. This is what I was talking about. You got 24 seven monitoring on demand or on demand monitoring, which is what I was talking about. 4G cellular backup coupled with a Bode's built in battery backup. And then also a motion sensor, of course. This one here has the IOTA gateway with built in motion sensor and 1080p camera one mini door window sensor and a key fob. Keep an eye out for this. I'll probably do a dedicated video on this, but I wanted to show you guys this and I'll leave a link for it down below because I'm a huge fan of their stuff. We had that other system at the old house and we used it and we loved it. So this is nice to have for the new, new house. Okay, so now this is something 
that recently they emailed me about. I believe this is on Kickstarter Indiegogo. I'll leave a link for it down below, but this is the I, I, iCurio. And this is sort of like a wallet case for your phone that's extremely minimal. It reminds me a lot of the laptop stand that we just looked at. It goes on the back of your phone with some 3M tape. This, there was no packaging because I believe this is still a project that you can back. So the bottom one is actually magnetic. Two little magnets inside of this, which I know what that's for, so I'll show you in a second. The top is 3M. So we line it up. Obviously, this is for the iPhone. 10s max and it's just it's simple and it is two wallet spots for two credit cards whatever you want to put in there but the cool part about this is that this part so you have the magnets at the bottom so you can flip this out and actually have your phone stand up so if you're doing like an instagram story or you're watching igtv uh, where everything is in portrait mode or you can have this down and flip it and watch it widescreen like a normal human being uh very cool like i said super minimal uh you can back this i'll leave a link for it down below there's some magnets in here that keep this down and attached magnets on the bottom there and then you have the 3m up top so you know super minimal if you had the only way you could use this with a case is if you maybe you had like a, a bumper style case so you would look at this and you would think hey larry that's cool but i'm losing wireless charging and I've, I've wanted wireless charging forever on the iPhone, so why would I put something on the back that's gonna make me lose wireless charging? I hear you, I know what you're saying, but you see what, what I have here? I have a wireless charging mouse pad that I talked about earlier. If you didn't see that, what the heck are you doing? It was the first thing I talked about. Wireless charging. This thing still wirelessly charges. Are you seeing this right now? Oh, I just lost it because I moved it. Charging, okay, I'm trying to show you guys, the, there we go. Boom, wirelessly charging through this. Now I don't know, I'm not gonna put my credit cards and stuff on there, but just know that without credit cards, you can wirelessly charge. They thought of everything. I'll leave a link for this down below. You guys can check this out, back it if you want to. Okay, we have two more things for you. Back to the wireless earbuds again. This is from Aki, and I've worked with them in the past as well. This is their Key Series wireless headphones. Now this is uh, a different style than what we talked about earlier with the Truly Wireless, because this has the wire that connects the two earbuds, which in some cases could be really, really good because a lot of companies don't have that figured out how to pair those properly yet. You have a 24 month product warranty that comes with this, so that's fantastic. Quick start guides, you have multiple earbud tips and then you also have usb type c charging so you got these they're gonna go around your neck like this you got magnet like that so they're gonna stay together they have the ear fins on them so that's gonna keep them locked in tight i've actually used these at the gym a few times already they stay good they sound good obviously if you're not a fan of this wire that goes in between then these may not be for you. I honestly don't mind that because it keeps the sound and everything consistent. You have the control piece down here that has the USB type C charging in it. You have your plus and minus for volume, track and all that kind of stuff. So you get the multifunction of middle, which is you can answer calls, all that good stuff. They're going to turn off when you magnetize them together and turn on when you separate them. So you don't really need an on off button. They come with this little like rubber case, you know, geez, oh Pete's. It's nice, it takes a little bit to get these jammed in there, but overall the build quality seems really, really good. They got a very soft touch rubber over the whole thing and then like metal accents on the outside that shine and look really good. Like I said, I've used these at the gym a few times. They sound really good. They stayed in my ears really good, which is a whole nother thing. Battery life, it says, it says you can get up to eight hours. I've gotten just about eight hours, so I think that's true. And you can fully charge them in an hour and a half, so that's not bad at all. Bluetooth 5.0, so that's awesome. Aki, I think, did a great job with this one. Uh, if these are your style, I think these are right up your alley. And I think it's a great quality for the price. I'll leave links for them down below, but check them out. Okay, last but not least, we have from my friends over at Catalyst. I've worked with them again also in the past, but this is a waterproof iPad pro case for the 12.9 what i have 
Uh, it's 6.6 .6 feet waterproof, two meters. It's IP68, <laughs> uh, 360 degree protection, and then it's drop proof from 1.2 meters or four feet. Waterproof seal, touch screen film, hard coated optical lenses, acoustic membrane, soft rubber grip, lanyard attachment, and a flat pack stand so you can actually hold this thing up. Dirt and sand proof, easy to install and remove, and it's snow proof. Hey, uh, we're removing, I'm gonna need that. All right, let's get, the, let's get the iPad in here, okay? Let's just do that, see what we're looking at. I mean, this isn't bad. Uh, this is not bad, this is not bad at all. You got a couple lanyard spots, you got four lanyard spots, so. I jacked up the install a little bit in this area, and I believe that's what this is. This thing is for like separating this back out. Yeah. It doesn't add a lot of thickness to it. Let's see, let's, we wanna see what it sounds like, honestly. That's why we're all here. Touch screen works well. There's definitely, you can feel the membrane over the screen. You can feel when you're pressing on it that there's like air in between the screen and that. So that's a little funky. Oh, that's weird. Now it doesn't sound bad, but it's got that acoustical membrane that they're talking about. It's taking the four speakers and sending it back to the front of the screen. So your sound is coming from the front of the iPad. It's sort of weird. Doesn't sound bad though at all. Yeah, this is build quality on this is really good. Looks really good. Feels really good. I'm not too concerned about how well it takes pictures because I don't take pictures with my iPad, but uh, I mean, I guess we could look at it just to see. Looks fine. This is cool. I'm really happy with this because it's not it's not very thick. So maybe it's why that's why it's got that air gap in between the screen and this membrane because of the sound. I mean, for the trade-off for what you're getting is waterproof. Okay, the stand. I mean, if you're sitting by the pool and you got it chilling, I guess it's okay. Nothing super fantastic about it. It'd be really, be really cool if it like attached somewhere on the back, but it does not, that I can tell. So anyways, that's it, Catalyst. I'm a big fan of theirs. They've always sent stuff out, always sending me updates on what they're doing. I appreciate them. So I'll leave links for this again down in the description below. Links for everything down below, check them out. Let me know what you guys think was the coolest thing that we looked at in this big haul video. Um, it was a little bit all over the place with the products. And again, we'll have this coming later, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw it. And uh, that's gonna be it. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, do that down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for everybody for sending this stuff out. I love doing haul videos actually, so. You want to send anything, hit me up.